start, I'm going to take off my wheel with a 19 millimeter socket, take off all five of your lug nuts. And take off your wheel. It's a 15 millimeter socket for the nut. Let's see if it'll come off. If not, we'll use a five millimeter Allen in the middle and just unscrew the stud. Yeah, looks like we'll have to go that route. So since that didn't work, I'm gonna take a 15 millimeter wrench, put it on the nut, and then a five millimeter Allen, put it in the middle of that stud. And you actually have to tighten the stud to push it through. goes, take the nut off. As you can see, I sprayed it with some rust penetrant, which definitely helped. Now you can pull the sway bar link out and the sway bar can come up and that's perfect. That's exactly what we want. Now to get this bottom part of the link off, I'm just going to lock some locking pliers on here. I'm not even going to try the Allen head uh, way just because I don't want it to create more issues. Lock these on as tight as possible. And then in order to get the sway bar just a little bit higher, um, I'm gonna use a pry bar and just pry it down like this. And then I'm gonna get my socket with a swivel. It's not easy to get in here, so you'll need a long extension, a swivel, and a 15 millimeter socket. And hopefully you can make it in here. So let's try to remove this. The locking pliers are probably gonna wanna spin. spinning the whole thing, but it came loose, so that's good. Let's reset the pliers on there. There it is. Here's your old sway bar link. All right, so I have the new sway bar link here. I put some grease on the threads. I like to grease them up a little bit. You can put any seeds if you want, but this usually just helps, or hopefully helps the nut to come off easier next time. So let's start it on the bottom first. Start the nut on, and on this one, you can see right here, there's actually a little cutout where you can put a wrench in. So let's find the wrench size that fits, that way we can hold it. You don't want to use locking pliers on the brand new sway bar link because you'll damage the boot. I'm going to try it without holding the stud first. Sometimes that uh, works, and if you do have to hold it, it's a 17 millimeter wrench. Let's snug it up. Okay, looks like that worked for me. And um, again, if you have to hold the stud, just hold it with a wrench. Make sure you don't use locking pliers on that. Now take your sway bar link, push the sway bar back down, line it up with the strut, slide it through the hole, and start on this nut up top. Let's snug up this nut. Okay, so for these, you wanna just make sure they're nice and tight, do your best. There we go. Yep, that's tight. Let's put the wheel back on. Start on all of your lug nuts, snug them up, and torque them to 100 foot-pounds. <laughs> 